Well, here we are again, out on the uh, little state lake. I've uh, not really moved swims, I just sort of moved along a little bit. So I've got two baits better positioned in this little area here. I feel might hold the fish. Uh, I've been baiting up here for quite a while. I'm sort of scattering it around the general area. There's a couple of spots I've really been sticking a few spoonfuls on. So that's where I've dumped the bait. I sort of hope that the rain today, and I have done when I fished it before, that it stops them hearing me stomping around. It's quite amazing, really. I walked up to the edge of the lake earlier to sort of flick a bait at it. A little hole, excuse me, wobbly just down there. And uh, there's a sort of few pinprick bubbles coming up before I got there. After a couple of sort of like incredibly light steps, because I do tread carefully around here, usually a big fizz up, there's obviously a, a spook to fish. But I'd hardly put a foot on the ground, it's just amazing. You know, uh, what they feel and what they can sense. Uh, well, it's just a coincidence, but uh, I feel it's more of a uh, thing. So I'm hoping the rain sort of uh, drown out a lot of noise now. I just generally sit on the chair on the umbrella and uh, sit here, don't move around, don't do anything really. Best attempts to uh, stay as quiet as possible. I'm thinking about doing a couple of nights, consecutive nights and days, in a couple of weeks' time on here. See how that goes. Um, should be a little easier. Might give me a little bit more choice of where I go. Unfortunately, the um, phone reception here is shocking. And uh, being the uh, sort of part-time and house husband person of the house, and my wife working about an hour away, I have to be contacted with all the spoons. School boon. Weird. School. And unfortunately, down the other end of the lake, you don't get reception. But I do get reception here, so that's another of the reasons why. But once the leaf trees on the leaves on the trees fall off, I know I didn't sleep too much last night. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, phone reception gets a little bit better down there, but it's not too bad really. You just have to see, really. Can only but try, only but have a go. You know, there's, there is no reason why the car are not in this area. There's no reason why the cart should all be up that end, because that would just be silly. So, you know, I've seen fizz up, so I've seen them down here. You know, and we've just got to keep on uh, keep on trucking, really. Right, I'll give you another update, and I'll catch up with you soon. Well, as you can hear and see, the rain has um, certainly... Um, kicked in <laughs> and uh, yeah I think there's a big fizz up over one of my bags just out there at the moment but I can't really tell there's been a few little some pieces and things so never know never really know funny old place this is isn't it <laughs> anyway I'm safely tucked under me brolly the rain, hoping and praying. I've got my new um, Grizzly Man uh, suit on today, which is basically thermal trousers, thermal uh, top, showerproof, breathable, lovely and warm. I'll um, Head over to your website and check out the page. Actually. I'm quite impressed. I've basically um, got a thin shirt on and nothing, you know. And the trousers are so warm it's ridiculous. And the jacket's lovely. I keep zipping it up because I get a bit of a chill and then I have to unzip it because it just starts cooking inside it. Amazing, really. Anyway, I just thought I'd do you a little bit of a vid for the old. Uh, Rain tapping it down. There we go. Wow, with a little bit of sunshine just peeking through. It's 
gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely, just a little ray of sunshine just tipped its head through there and disappeared again. Maybe there's a uh, breaking the uh, thing coming. Don't know. Can't check on the internet because uh, I don't have any internet down here. So, not a lot I can do about that. But it's temperamental, to be fair. As if you try to upload something sort of quite sort of uh, detailed, it uh, doesn't like it. The odd photo and things, it's not too much of a problem, but anything beyond that, uh, it's, the, it's the right hump. Um, there's been a few little fizz ups, but nothing. Don't know really. I love to get a camera down there. I must admit, just to see what uh, you know. It's it's clearly something disturbing the box from some size. So this is really only carp in here. Nothing else. It's really got to be the carp sometimes. Just don't seem to be sort of keen on the bait or the presentation that they're getting at the moment. Just to persevere really. It's going to be uh, quite nice. Huh? Really good. Right. Catch up with you in a bit. I think there's a bit of blue sky I think coming. Oh no, here we go. Get a little bit more sunshine now. It does look nice, doesn't it? Just rays of light just streaming through. People do sit and wonder how we can fish. What do you do when you're sitting there fishing? Let's just watch the world go by, don't we? It's just gorgeous, peaceful, quiet. Watching, waiting and looking. That's what it's all about. Very important and lovely. Look at that. Perfection. Right then. A bag of carp would be even better, wouldn't it? Defo. Well, I've only just gone and lost one, haven't I? In the weed. Unbelievable. This tape came completely out of the blue. It just sort of had me in that real thick weed there. I had it on the surface at one point, but it, the line sort of wouldn't come out of whatever it was attached to, and then I had to pull it down again. bring a bit of positivity to just what happened. At least I've got a stake over one of the spots I've been baiting, which is quite good. I'm happy about that. That's one good thing, that means the fish are actually down here and they are feeding on what a bait I've been putting out, so all good there on that front. It's been nice to get it in the net, but there we go. Can't win them all. And the rain's starting to come back a little bit again, a bit of fine drizzle about. I've got about we got an hour left to go now so uh, I've got the rod back out again on the spot again so who knows we'll just have to see really um, I've got a week off soon for half term I might actually try and spend some uh, spend a few nights on here really just see how I get on really but, uh, yeah after that uh, fish it's giving me a little bit of inspiration otherwise I was thinking it was going to be more like a uh, two night blank being on here or if I stayed the third night a three night blank which wouldn't be overly clever would it at the end of the day <laughs> there we go oh, there you go small but perfectly formed just over 12 pound countless wafter you yeah I'm over the moon after losing one, it's clearly a bit bigger than this. Um, yeah, well happy. Do me. Uh, might even get another one. It's not bad. Uh, there you go. Two takes, same dog. Unbelievable. Feeding the day. Really happy about that. 
I'll start to panic a bit. There we go. Oh, there's a little fish. Do the other side for you, because that's got a... I love the colours of that side, but it's got a bit of that. Scar from bits of spawning, I feel. There we go. Look at the orange colours. Absolutely amazing. Lovely little fish. Right. Better get it back. And uh, get a rod out, really. Well, that was. Uh, Turn off the box, wasn't it really? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. Another take. Got this one in through the weed. Less aggro than the last one. I think I must have just been unlucky on the last one. Really must have been. I think there must have been sort of some stick or log or something under the water because it's just that just I didn't have an issue with that one at all. No real issue with that one at all. You know, just held the pressure on and it just came through the weed and sorted itself out. Which is, I don't know, in general, what should have happened before, really. There you go. Anyway, I'm over the moon, really. I've got the rod back out. Um, I've got about 20 minutes left, so I nearly didn't bother. I thought, nope, you never know. If they're feeding, it's amazing what you can happen in 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, packing a few bits of bobs away. I think the rain's finished. And uh, if I'm really lucky. Um, Everything will be dry and all sorted out. That's good. That's, that's been a quite a productive trip. I'm quite uh, quite happy about that. It's worked quite well, so it's all very good, really. There you go. Two takes. Two takes in the air. I've been baiting up. One on the bank. One lost. I'm not going to complain at that. It's, it's quite positive, really. To be fair. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, yeah, head over to my website and uh, catch up with you soon. Be lucky. <laughs>